Hi everyone, I'm Roy Altman, and I'm here to show you how to use Anchor Sniper, a super intuitive and powerful script for After Effects available on ascripts.com. The main section of the Anchor Sniper interface has these nine target buttons that move the anchor point, and this set of options here. I have this image layer here, which is a Photoshop file, with rotation animation already applied. As you can see, the actual size of the layer is bigger than the actual visible pixels. All of this area is completely transparent. And I wish to place the layer's anchor point on the bottom leftmost corner of the logo. If I click the bottom left target button now, the anchor point will move to the corner of the layer itself. But if I enable the Use Layers Alpha option, which is on by default, and then click the bottom left target button, the anchor point snaps to the most bottom left visible pixel. And the animation is updated accordingly. Note that Anchor Sniper scans the alpha channel of the layer at the current frame in the timeline, so I recommend placing the timeline indicator at the frame after the animation is already finished. This of course also works with multiple selected layers and also multiple layer types, including text, shape layers, video and graphics. And also layers that have the 3D switch turned on. In this example, I have several animated layers. By selecting them and then clicking the target buttons, I can quickly experiment with different animations. I can also turn on more than one option. For example, I turn on both the Use Layers Alpha and the Group Layers option, and then click the center target button. Now, the anchor points of all selected layers are placed at the same location, basically treated as if they were all a single layer. So these four options are not mutually exclusive and can be turned on and off as required, allowing for many different combinations of moving the anchor point. Later, I'll get into more detail about each of these options. The next main feature is the custom target button, which allows you to place the anchor point of all the selected layers at any desired location. I select all the layers and then click the custom target button, and then using the After Effects Move tool, place the target at a new location, and then click the green OK button. Simple as that. Note that after clicking the custom target button, several things happen in the timeline and the UI. Make sure you use the After Effects Move tool to place the new target layer, and then click either the OK button to approve the operation, or the red X to cancel it. Clicking the OK button will move the anchor point and then revert the timeline and UI to their previous states. If you want to revert back without changing the anchor point's location, click the red X Cancel button. Note that due to a limitation of the After Effects scripting language, when trying to undo this operation, you need to click undo several times. So it's actually usually easier to just select a new custom target again, or use any of the other target buttons. The lower part of the interface has these three tools that will surely speed up any animation workflow. Clicking the first tool enables Null Parent Mode, which temporarily changes the behavior of the main Anchor Sniper interface. Every option and button still behaves in the same way, but instead of moving the layer's anchor point, a new null layer is created at the target location. The original selected layer is already parented to this new null object. This is extremely helpful if there is already animation on a layer, and you wish to introduce a new pivot point. To revert back to the normal behavior without creating a new null parent, simply click the same tool button again, which will now have the text Cancel. The second tool, Split Masks, separates a single layer with multiple masks into multiple layers, each with a single mask. For example, I want to split this logo into two separate parts so I can animate each one of them individually. All I need to do is just add quick garbage masks around the different elements, and then click the handy Split Masks tool button. This separated the two elements into two different layers, and it is now very easy to set the anchor point of each separate element. 
The original layer is not deleted by the way, it remains in the timeline with its video switch turned off. The final tool, Crop Layer, pre-composes a layer and then crops the new composition to the layer's visible edges. For example, I still have these two layers selected, and if I click on the Crop Layer button now, you can see that each layer is now actually a composition, and if I open one, you can see that the composition is in the exact dimensions of the visible area of the layer. This pre-composing uses the leave all attributes method, except for any masks on the layer. Note that since the collapse transformation switch is automatically turned on, After Effects displays an inaccurate bounding box for the pre-comp. The actual edges of the layer are shown if the collapse transformation is turned off. But I recommend keeping it on to retain the layer's original quality or vector capabilities. So these are all the features. Now I'll go into more detail about the other available anchor target options and give a simple example for what they can be used for. We already went over the Use Layers Alpha option, so I'll skip it for now. When the second option, Use Comp Bounds, is turned on, Anchor Sniper will completely ignore the layer's edges and place the anchor point on the edges of the composition itself. This can be helpful, for example, if you have a large image with scale animation and you want to snap its anchor point to the center of the composition. When the third option, Move Layer, is turned on, pressing any of the target buttons will actually keep the anchor point in the same place and instead move the layer itself to match the target. The final fourth option, Group Layers, is only relevant when you have more than one layer selected. With this option turned on, the anchor points of all selected layers will move to the same place, basically treating them as if they were all a single layer. So these are all the main features of Anchor Sniper. Finally, you have this hamburger button here, through which you can get to the Help and About screens, as well as the Script Settings window. In the Settings window, you can change options like hiding the tool section of the panel, or selecting the small UI option. Changing this option requires a restart for the script to take effect. This replaces all the text with icons for a smaller screen footprint. So this is it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you find this tool as useful as I have. Have fun and be sure to check aescripts.com for additional resources and updates.